It's the nature of the inventors of these religions. Uh, Jesus, uh, when he invents Christianity, says all sorts of peaceable things, and on that occasion says, uh, says um, yes, I've come to bring a sword. Uh, but Muhammad, um, when he invented Islam, uh, also gave an example to Muslims. Now, we're very fortunate, of course, that most Muslims don't follow that example or are unaware of that example, but the fact is that Muhammad himself was a warrior. He beheaded prisoners. Uh, he himself was a very violent man. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be checking out another interesting debate by Douglas Murray titled, Does Islam Encourage Violence? Wow. I believe this 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 is a tough question. Let's start with the video. Go. Nicky Campbell, welcome to The Big Questions. Great to see you. Tomorrow, three Muslim terrorists will be sentenced for plotting to blow up seven transatlantic planes. Who knows how many innocent people would have been killed. Our first big question, does Islam encourage violence? This MP says that Islamic extremism has a real problem with violent adherence. Politics. We're back at Ashton Park School in Bristol with a, a very lively and intelligent West Country audience waiting to play their part. And sitting on high this morning for you, we have got uh, the Imam and member of the Muslim Council of Britain, Sheikh Ibrahim Mogra, Director of the Centre for Social Cohesion, Douglas Murray, and the novelist and religious commentator, Christina Adone. Friday marked the 8th anniversary of 9-11, eight years ago, when nearly 3,000 people were killed and more than 6,000 were injured by Islamist terrorist attacks. In the years since, we've had bombings in Bali, Madrid, London, Mumbai, to name just a few, and they've murdered uh, over 2,000 more. Does Islam encourage violence? That is our first big question. Farouk, from the Bristol Muslim Cultural Society, we hear all the time that Islam is a religion of peace. What is it in the faith that, that encourages some of his adherents to think that they have got a license to kill? Uh, nothing. It's ignorance. Um, it's nothing to do with the faith at all. It's the fact that you know the West is in Muslim countries at the moment bombing the living daylights out of innocent people, and that is inspiring these people. They give, it's giving them a cause. It's giving them a reason to rebel. So it's totally politics. Much of it is to do with politics. That's where the trigger point, that's the crisis point. Um, and if, if we continue to associate Islam and say Islam is a just cause here, Islam is a justifying factor, then we're way off the mark. And we're not be able to tackle the issue. But Farouk, haven't, they got, plenty, haven't they got plenty to go on in the scriptures? I mean, it would be kind of difficult to launch a jihad for Jesus, wouldn't it, if you looked at the New Testament? But well, no, got, actually, you can talk can about I quote the Christian to army in Africa doing exactly the same thing. But that was maybe politics. Can, can, I, can I quote this? I, I will. So is this. Yeah, okay. But, but haven't they got some justification when they read things in the Quran which says, I will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve, therefore strike off their heads and strike off every fingertip of them. I mean, it's not love thy neighbor, is it? No, I mean, th that particular verse isn't, but that's not uh, a general Islamic quote. That's a specific quote to a specific point in a specific time in, 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 a, in a specific battle. Muslims were outcast, exiled, left their homes for nine years, persecuted for nine years, found sanctuary in a new homeland, were migrated, an exodus from Mecca, migrated. Still, still the enemies of Islam came to them and wanted to wipe them out. At that point, there is a point in Islam. Islam is not a pacifist religion by any stretch, I agree. But there's a point. You, you continue to turn the other cheek. Yes, it's a continuation of the same message that Jesus brought. Turn the other cheek up to a up point. To a point yes. Up to a point. You cannot just stand by and watch evil spread throughout the land and do nothing about it. Like yeah, I mean, that's, that's the di one of the big differences, isn't it, between uh, Islam and Christianity. I mean, uh, Christ says, uh, you know, how, he's asked how many times do I forgive uh, my brother, he says seven times, seventy times seven, I, an infinite number of times. 
We have to address, I have to say, it's always same, a very difficult question. It's always a difficult question to address. Also this quote one. from the Bible where Jesus says, yeah. I have come not to spread peace, but I have come Absolutely. to is, bring the sword. There is, there is I one come to turn brother against the father. Yes, there is I one want to turn this into a relation about uh, okay, for it, in a minute, Christian yeah. and Islam. There is indeed a verse uh, in the New Testament that says that. The thing is that we have to address at some point, it's always very awkward to do so. We have to address the nature of the inventors of these religions. Uh, Jesus, uh, when he invents Christianity, says all sorts of peaceable things, and on that occasion says, uh, says um, yes, I've come to bring a sword. Uh, but Muhammad, um, when he invented Islam, uh, also gave an example to Muslims. Now, we're very fortunate, of course, that most Muslims don't follow that example, or are unaware of that example, but the fact is that Muhammad himself was a warrior. He beheaded prisoners. Uh, he himself was a very violent man. Uh, we can't... And many, many people who are Muslims, uh, and many of my Muslim friends and colleagues and so on, realize that you know, Islam gives you, like all religions, a guide to life. But we cannot ignore the violence of Islam's tenets, of the faith itself. When, uh, when Muhammad, very early on I in his I follow the example of the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, myself, on in, in a day-to-day -day life. I don't go around beheading people. No. I do that because the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, acted in a certain way. I give charity. I give uh, uh, talk to my neighbors. I reach out my hand to the elderly. I reach out sure. my hand to I'm the not poor. saying you don't. I'm just saying that what I'm saying is that we, cannot, we, can, we can recognize the good things within Islam, the peaceable things in Islam. We cannot pretend that the verses that are violent and the violent doings of Muhammad did not occur because John, they did. John Azuma, John Azuma, you're a theologian. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I think that we have to be very honest and very real here because uh, to deny that there are violent verses in the Quran is really just uh, being plain. I'm not denying violence. There are violent verses in, in any book. Quran. There's there are violent verses in War and Peace. Yes, there's just one second. Yes, let me, just in, let in, me one, in War and what? In War and Peace. I mean, there's violent verses that's everywhere. That's, that's, not, the, that's, not, the word, that's not the word of God. Well, but just, let, just let me finish the point. And I'm saying there are violent verses in the Quran. But I also know there are millions of Muslims who read the same verses and do not go out blowing themselves up. Because but that's the point. Please let him finish. Let me finish the point. I think the problem is hermeneutics, is interpretation. And different Muslims interpret this differently. You may decide to interpret it differently, but there are other Muslims who take it very seriously, and we cannot sit here and say your interpretation is right and they are wrong. We this, can, this we can do that, Ibrahim. Aside. We can, we can say that that interpretation is wrong. And I totally disagree with Douglas when he says uh, what he said about the blessed messenger Muhammad. He was a, a man of peace, a billion people or more follow his example. We are what we he are because of, battles, of that. Though, didn't he? Of course, which, which, uh, leader, which leader of a, any community that is a growing community, that is a community under attack from time to time, will not uh, have to resort to, 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 to a military campaign? Why do we not look at the fact? that the verses of the Qur'an which are being misused by misguided Muslims and we don't deny that they are Muslims just as they are we, we've had Christian people, we've had Jewish people, we've had all kinds of people who have misused, misused their scripture to justify something. We need to shift the discussion to say can I ask you one what thing? is, if I can just finish this point Nikki mm. Is it really the religion, or is it the people who follow those religions who mm. have political motives, or they have criminal <laughs> interests? You can tell this is really very, this is really a very heated debate. And just like the topic rightly said, does Islam encourage violence? And I know I have a lot of friends. I'm, I'm a Christian. I have a lot of friends that are Muslim. I have a lot of friends that are from Islam. And I think, uh, most of them are, are not, are not violent. Most of them are not violent. And, I also am also aware that a lot of a lot of uh, people also misinterpret uh, misinterpret the Quran, and they they do all sort of things like killing and committing all sort of crimes. And I don't think that is really 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 justifiable. Just from the debate, from what from what we have heard, uh, from according to uh, Douglas Douglas Murray, that. Uh, though Islam is regarded as a very peaceful as a very peaceful religion, uh, just like uh, in Christian, the, in Christian they, they they follow they follow the examples of Jesus, and in Islam they follow the uh, example of Muhammad. And from how uh, Douglas Murray have described uh, have described uh, 
Prophet Muhammad, that the uh, Prophet Muhammad uh, uh, is a peaceful person, and uh, a lot of good things that uh, Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad did that is written in the Quran. That a lot of Muslims, uh, they 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 follow or they follow the 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 take uh, Prophet uh, Muhammad as an example. They try to live like Prophet Muhammad. They try to imitate uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad. And the glass mirror also uh, mentioned a point that apart from uh, uh, he accepted the fact that Prophet Muhammad did a lot of good things uh, in the Quran. He, and he also uh, the glass mirror also mentioned a point that Muhammad himself is a warrior. He beheaded he beheaded a lot of he beheaded a lot of prisoners and a lot of uh, he beheaded a lot of prisoners and a lot of Muslim. That tend to follow, that tend to follow, uh, that tend to take uh, Prophet Muhammad as an example, seeing Prophet Muhammad as a warrior, and seeing Prophet Muhammad beheading a lot of prisoners. A lot of them might, you know, try to be violent because of, uh, because of uh, what they have seen, because of how they see Prophet Muhammad. And a lot of Muslims are also very peaceful. They are also very gentle, uh, cause they see Prophet Muhammad as a very peaceful person. They take, uh, they, they they look at the, uh, they take Prophet Muhammad. Uh, they, they 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 try to imitate Prophet Muhammad, and Prophet Muhammad has done a lot of uh, 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 goodies. A lot of people, a lot of Muslim try to imitate Prophet Muhammad by uh, by uh, imbibing the uh, 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 the moral value, and they try to be uh, uh, good people. But a lot of people also see. Prophet Muhammad as a warrior, just like the example Douglas Murray has given, that for the fact that he beheaded prisoners, a lot of Muslims might also look at it that way and try to, you know, uh, perpetrate all sort of crimes in the name of uh, in the name of religion, in the name of religion. And I love the fact that uh, the 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 Muslim guy, the one that was on uh, that was sitting, I think. Beside Douglas, just by 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 the by the left, uh, he also mentioned he also mentioned a point that Prophet Muhammad is a warrior, and he Prophet Muhammad is a warrior, and the fact he mentioned he said during uh in those days when uh during Prophet Muhammad time that uh the the Muslim uh, during Prophet Muhammad time there was uh our, there was war and uh and a lot of people were trying to to kill the Muslims, so they have to stand up. They have to stand up for themselves. So that's the reason why uh, such things. That's the reason why uh, Prophet. Mu that's the reason why Prophet Muhammad uh, was seen as as a warrior. And I like the point that the man on on traditional on traditional outfit among the audience. I like the the point he, he also gave that it's all about interpretation that a lot of people interpret the quran in, interpret uh, interpret the quran in different way the way mr a might interpret the quran is different from the way mr b might interpret the quran that it's all about interpretation and we can say mr a interpretation is wrong that mr b interpretation is correct that it's all about interpretation so and i think for my own personal opinion i just think all this verses that promote violence i don't know i'm not from islam i'm not from islam so i don't have the right to to say what needs to be done but my own personal opinion all this personal verse that a lot of people are misinterpreting are using to perpetrate uh to, to perpetrate all sort of crime and to uh to kill to kill and using it for their political motive all this verse i believe i believe if something can be done on all this verse if not removed from the Quran, if there's a way to explain this verse better to the people of Islam, so they don't take that as a reason, as a reason to or to perpetrate all sort of crime. Wow, I've really learned a lot from this debate. Keep the comments coming. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day.